हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डी तो इस लेक्चर में हम कंटिन्यू करते हैं हमारे प्लेन रिविजन सीरीज के साथ एंड दिस इज द पार्ट 24 ऑफ द लेक्चर सीरीज होप यू हैव सीन द फर्स्ट 23 थ्री पार्ट वेर वी कवर लॉट ऑफ करेंट अफेयर फ्रॉम द पास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर ओके सो यहाँ हम कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं हमारा साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी करंट अफेयर्स के साथ तो इस लेक्चर में हम कवर करते हैं डिसीजेज हेल्थ एंड मेडिसिन से तो the other contents for this lecture will be first we will talk about the h9n2 the why this was in use what is this h9n2 all about after that we will talk about the rare diseases after that hum baat karte hain neglected diseases ke bare mein neglected tropical diseases in fact uske bare mein baat karte hain after that we will talk about yada yada virus after that hum baat karte hain genome sequencing ke bare mein after that hum dekhte hain classical spine flu fever what is this classical spine flu fever why this was in use after that we will talk about the hemorrhagic septicemia hemorrhagic sorry it's hemorrhagic septicemia hemorrhagic septicemia ke bare mein baat karte hain after that we will talk about the kenesur forest disease and finally we will see what is avian influenza which is bird flu so we will see all of this in this lecture so chaliye shuru karte hain first h9n2 so recently indian scientists have discovered with a rare variant of the virus h9n2 h9n2 the country's first case of infection that causes avian influenza or bird flu normally h1n1 is a swine flu h5n1 is a bird flu so this is a rare you know it's it's a different kind of strain altogether h9n2 is first time found in india so it's a type of influenza a virus which causes human influenza as well as the bird influenza bird flu so this h9n2 virus is found worldwide in wild birds and endemic to poultry in many areas so it's 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 a, it's a disease which is caused in poultry okay so h9n2 is a rare variant of the virus h5n5 you can say next one rare diseases so recently union ministry of health and family welfare has published a national policy for the treatment of 450 rare diseases so new policy has been announced so this policy is to kick start a registry of rare diseases where the icmr will know the indian council for medical research will know how many people who need you know long term treatment for rare diseases we will have a clear picture but how many people will need all of such things okay how what is the what what is the input that we have to give what is the you know in the system what are the arrangement what we have to do and also we will know about the different kinds of people who need all of this support the long term support for the different kind of rare diseases this rare diseases include the genetic diseases rare cancers cancers infectious tropical diseases and degenerative diseases all of these come under this okay so under this policy there are three main categories of rare diseases requiring one time these are three types like first is one time curative treatment second is long term one, not one time it's long term treatment but it's of low cost the third is long term with high cost these are the three different kinds of diseases the most common rare diseases recorded in india are hemophilia thalassemia sick cell anemia and primary immunodeficiency in children autoimmune diseases okay the lysosomal storage disorders and pomp diseases and all of these diseases like uh, gaucher diseases cystic fibrosis etc so these are the different kinds of rare diseases some require immediate attention only one time treatment some require long term treatment and low cost some require long term treatment these are of high cost so icmr will prepare all the database so that we can make institutional arrangements in order to fight these diseases okay next one neglected tropical diseases on january 30 2020 the first ever world neglected tropical diseases first ever world neglected tropical diseases you know this day was celebrated on january 30 2020 okay so this is a day when we celebrate the achievement that we made towards okay the towards reduction and control of these rare diseases rare diseases okay so some of the tropical diseases are these are neglected as the people who are the most affected by this live in the live in very poor conditions they live in the poorest of the poor countries so these are these are called neglected because they are neglected by the mainstream media and the mainstream research agencies because the people who are suffering it first they cannot afford high value treatment second even if they can afford you know there will be very few people not much people so the profits and all you know after the research the profits which the people or you can say the companies will be getting is very less so these are very neglected diseases which are occurring in the tropical regions where the people where the condition of the people is very poor this neglected tropical diseases persist on the condition of poverty and it is concentrated almost exclusively in the impo impoverished population in the developing world 
okay so january 30 is the neglected tropical diseases day and td neglected tropical diseases day okay next one yada yada virus so this recently the yada yada virus is uh, recently it was discovered in australian uh, australia okay so what it is it is belongs to a group that include other alpha virus such as chikungunya and other eastern equine encephalitis so even so the novel virus poses no threat to human beings because it's a part of group of virus that infect or only infect mosquitoes but we don't know the actual consequences of what it can happen later okay so yada yada virus is found in recently found in australia mosquitoes next one classical swine flu fever hawk cholera or classical swine flu fever so this classical swine 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 flu fever swine fever in fact it's also called hawk cholera classical swine flu fever is also called hawk cholera it's a contagious viral disease of domestic and wild swine it's a contagious disease it happens due to the virus that brings viral diarrhea in pigs and ailment in sheep so okay it's a viral disease that bring viral diarrhea in pigs and ailment in sheep it does not harm human but all important precautions are advised to follow so at this moment it's not harming human but later it might so all the precautions has to be followed okay it's a viral disease classical swine flu is a viral disease it's a classical swine fever also called as hawk cholera next one hemorrhagic septicemia hemorrhagic septicemia around 40 buffaloes you know recently they have died within 4 days due to the suspected sahana disease suspected sahana disease in a number of villages located in gardarpur block of odisha's kendrapara kendrapara okay it's a severe bacterial disease caused by certain strains of bacteria it spreads through the contact with infected animals contaminated clothing equipment and through ingestion or inhalation of bacteria okay this uh, hemorrhagic septicemia buffalo has been affected by this by this disease okay so it's a bacterial disease so recently lot of buffaloes have died because of this bacterial disease next kyasanur forest disease kyasanur forest disease has been found in kerala so it's a disease which spreads through monkeys this is found in ticks this is found in ticks okay this was identified first in 1957 and was isolated from sick monkeys from the kesanur forest so it's so it is named after this forest called kesanur forest okay these are hard ticks that are you know that are reservoir of this virus the hard ticks are reservoir of this virus and the rodents shrews and monkeys are common hosts mainly it is found in monkeys the transmission to human also takes place after the virus that bites the monkeys they 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 come to human and bites the human again then the disease is transferred to the human also okay so generally from the dead monkeys it is being transmitted very fast so large animals such as goats cows and sheep may also become infected so the kesanur forest disease kesanur forest disease is found generally in monkeys but all can also be found in other animals it can be transferred from animals to humans okay through the ticks next one avian influenza or bird flu so suspected cases of avian influenza are being reported from various parts of kerala so what the government has done is the government has paid compensation to the owners of the hens which were culled as a part of government's precautionary measure for the stop of this avian influenza or bird flu this bird flu is nothing but the infection of h5n1 virus h5 h5n1 virus okay we have seen the new strain h5n9 okay so this outbreak was linked to handling of infected poultry h5n1 occurs naturally in the wild water flow but it can spread easily to the other uh, birds as well other domestic poultry as well and from them it can be transferred easily to the humans so now let's revise what we have studied so far first we have seen the h9n2 virus so h9n2 is a new strain of the bird flu okay so this is a subtype of influenza a virus so it's found in it's found in the poultry and all is found in many areas okay next one rare diseases so recently union ministry of health sciences has published a national policy for the treatment of the 450 rare diseases 450 rare diseases the icmr it will frame it will frame a new policy or you can say they will frame a new database you know kind that uh, that has the names and the details of the people who require uh, who require attention for these rare diseases okay these diseases include the genetic diseases rare cancers and other diseases so these are three types in this first is one time curative treatment the second type is long term treatment with low cost the third type is long term treatment with high cost so these are three kinds of rare diseases that is classified by the union ministry next one we have seen about the neglected diseases neglected tropical diseases the neglected tropical diseases day has been celebrated on 30th january 30th january 
okay neglected tropical diseases day on 30th january next one we have seen yada yada virus it was found recently in Aus mosquitoes of australia mosquitoes of australia okay next one we have seen about genome sequencing the genome sequencing is an organism's complete set of dna including all of its genes that means we are sequencing the genes of that organism same as it is that is called genome sequencing after that we have seen about the classical spine fever so classical spine fever is also called as hot cholera or classical spine fever spine fever it's a contagious viral disease that transfers from domestic pigs to humans okay so as of now it's not transmit transmitting uh, you know that much to humans but later it so uh, but later it can so humans are advised to follow certain you know, certain precautions for this next one hemorrhagic sept septicemia because of the disease because of this disease because of this bacterial infection 40 buffaloes have died in uh, Odisha. 40 buffaloes have died in Odisha, Gadarpur block. Okay, that's why this was in news. This is caused by a severe strain of viral bacteria that are found in the soils. Okay. Next one, case on forest disease. It is transferred through the ticks. Generally, it is found in mo monkeys and also even various other animals like goats, cows, sheep, etc. Okay, so a dead monkey can transmit this very easily. Uh, next we talked about the avian influenza the h5n h1n1 is nothing but spine flu h5n1 is bird flu so this bird flu recently it was found in kerala so the government has killed all the poultry birds so that this outbreak will not happen okay so this viral infection can trans it can infect not only birds it can it can transfer from birds to humans also okay so that's it friends in this lecture i'll see you again in the next lecture till then keep studying and stay tuned jai hind